In this video, we're going to show you how to download the correct post processor for your Iconic CNC machine. So if you are using vCarve Desktop and an Iconic CNC machine, you will notice that the post processor for our machine does not appear in the directory. So this instructional video will walk you through that process. So I'm working in Windows 7, um, similar application in Windows 8 or Windows 10, really the process is pretty much the same. So I'm going to go into my directory and I'm going to go to downloads where I have downloaded the post processor. Now you would have received an email from us with a copy of the correct post processor. It will be listed as you see here under GTEC inch ATC and it is a uh, the file format or the extension is going to be a PP, standing for post processor. So you'll want to make sure that you copy that to either to your desktop or just into your downloads folder. So all I'm going to do is go to that particular file and I'm going to right click and copy it. And then I'm going to close that directory. Now in vCarve Desktop, you'll notice up here in the top I have the option to go to file and then I'm going to go to open application data folder. And there you're going to see that there is a folder called Post P. So if I click to open Post P, is a list uh, contained in that file folder is a list of all the post processors that are con currently contained in vCarve Desktop. And if you're using vCarve Pro, by the way, the process is exactly the same. So as you'll see, as we scroll down into the G section, that there is no uh, post processor for our machine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply right click and paste and you'll see that the GTEC inch post processor has now been added to the directory. We can now close that and now close vCarve Desktop um, and then we're going to relaunch it. And you need to shut it down and relaunch it basically to make that change. And then we're just going to very simply go to uh, create a new file. I'm going to quickly create a file here and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to go to the toolpaths database. So we're going to go to a save toolpath. And if you look in the post processor directory, if we scroll down, we should see there's the GTEC ATC inch and it is now in NC. You notice it's not a PP anymore. It's it's now identifying what the file format will be when it outputs the file. In this case, it's going to be a .nc file. Now, just to eliminate some of the confusion, our factory is called GTEC, and that's why the post processor is called GTEC. There will probably be a later iteration of vCarve that will include the post processor, and it will likely be called Iconic at that time. But in the meantime, this is a quick way for you to get the correct post processor into your database so that you can start using vCarve Desktop and your Iconic CNC machine.